Well, we've had a little bit of a rain deficit, Keith. Perhaps today we'll put a dent in that. Yeah, I think the pattern overall should help with that. But today is the wettest day, and uh, it's not nice out. You can see behind you there, <laughs> High Street, and basically yeah. anywhere in Maine, it's just not all that pleasant right now. And the radar showing you uh, off and on showers. There's not a ton of heavy rain, but there's a lot of coverage of showers, a lot of clouds as well. Next batch of heavy stuff back into northeast parts of Pennsylvania, into northern Jersey. That'll come through later this afternoon and tonight will give us a re-intensification, especially over southern Maine, of our precipitation. But as far as clouds go, I mean, we're just totally socked in. There's low-level, mid-level, high-level clouds, so even if we break one of them, the others will still be there. So don't anticipate any sun today. Showers off and on next couple of hours start to build it back into heavier stuff, probably around kind of dinner tonight, especially over coastal Maine. We'll see our heavier downpours come through. It's still raining through the middle of the night into early tomorrow morning over down east and northern Maine. But uh, here we are at seven o'clock and we should start to clear out in most spots by mid morning, late morning at the latest and uh, tomorrow afternoon looks good right around 60 degrees. Some sun actually, which we haven't seen a whole lot of consistency obviously this week. Uh, I think Thursday afternoon is probably the best part of the work week, although don't sleep on Friday. It starts off cool in the 30s, but we should end up uh, in the mid and maybe upper 50s by Friday afternoon and we'll see more consistent sunshine there too. So we end the week on a more positive note. As far as the weekend goes, it's fine. It's not a banner weekend, but I think we're going to squeeze it out with a storm to our uh, west and to our east on Saturday, but we stay dry. And then on Sunday for Mother's Day, it looks like this system should stay to our south and it's slowed down. So those two things to me mean we can almost take off the table now the idea that it's going to be a washout on uh, Mother's Day. There is still a possibility of an isolated afternoon sprinkle. We'll try to nail that down. But I, again, I think the, the downside is a lot lower than it was before. Temperature trend, yeah, you know, average-ish, but not much above um, going forward into next week or so. Should see some showers, perhaps even rain on Monday, sun and clouds on Tuesday, mid-50s. Uh, this whole pattern, though, is not really great. It is relatively unsettled. It is relatively average to coolish. As I said to one of my meteorologist friends, um, see you May 15th. You <laughs> know, I don't, I don't think pattern wise, that's when we could start to really break into some stuff we're more excited about. Yeah, but again, we'll look at the bright side. And if that means we're not going to have to worry about a drought right away this summer, then we can live with this. Yeah, this definitely helps that. All right, thanks, Keith.